The roof on the face of it looked to be the hardest thing to make. Uh, it wasn't helped by the fact that the uh, plans weren't exactly brilliant. However, um, I've put this together now and uh, it has two what it calls gables at either end and then two cross walls here which don't reach all the way up to the top. Now um, another odd thing about it was that uh, it says in the plans that you put on it a piece of plywood like this which sits on top like that. Um, now this thing here will be sitting on top of the quilt and the idea is that heat will go up and down and the quilt will collect moisture. Uh, I, I, I wonder how effective that's going to be when there is um, some plywood on here even though it's very thin and uh, on the website where the uh, alternative plans that I used uh, not the original ones, uh, several people made the point but the guy said no it's perfectly okay and heat will go through this without any problem. So to start off I'm just going to leave this here um, and at some point maybe I may drill some small holes which is what several people said they were going to do in here just to let the um, uh, the heat come and go. So that's the basic roof with some handles on it. Um, on top then goes the roof which are these two pieces of wood slightly flattened on there and they will go like this and then across the top will go this thing. Uh, and it does leave a little hole in there which is supposedly to help the ventilation. So uh, I need to get this lined up properly so I'll just turn the camera off and then um, when I'm ready we'll, we'll get back into it. Right, that's to uh, attach this to the, uh, to the roof, I've measured it so it's sort of equidistance across and then hopefully going okay. Okay. And putting one on the other side. Okay, so that's the uh, the roof finished, and from this side on, uh, you can see the gap through there, and also there is a gap under here. Again, this is where supposedly the ventilation thing uh, happens, and the hot air comes up and leaves the hive uh, that way. So there we are. That's the roof done.